Imagine if you could read minds. Know someone's true intentions with a single glance. What if I told you it's possible, not with magic, but by understanding the hidden language of human behavior? We give off signals all the time without realizing it. We broadcast our emotions and motivations from how we stand to the fleeting expressions that cross our faces. That's why I'm sharing 12 simple tricks to help you become a master at reading people. Sharpen your intuition, build better relationships, and unlock a deeper understanding of everyone you encounter. 1. The Handshake Tells All Imagine reaching out for a handshake and feeling like you're grabbing a wet noodle. Ah, uh, right? That awkward moment tells you much more about the other person than you might think. A handshake is like a mini-introduction. A chance to show confidence, respect, or even a bit of nerves. A solid handshake, firm grip, good eye contact shows someone is invested in meeting you. They're present and engaged. But a weak, hesitant one? Maybe they're shy or distracted. Or worse, they might be sizing you up. Unsure if you're worth their time? Remember when you met your friend's new boyfriend and his handshake was so weak you wondered if he'd even lifted weights? Yeah, it colored your whole first impression. Every handshake matters. Pay attention. It reveals how someone sees themselves and values the connection. 2. Arms crossed, walls up. You know that classic pose, arms crossed, tight across the chest. We've all done it, but what does it mean? Most of the time, it's a signal that someone's feeling defensive. Maybe the conversation's going somewhere uncomfortable, or they're just having a bad day and want to shut the world out. But here's the thing. People cross their arms for other reasons. Sometimes, it's simply the most comfortable position, especially if they're a bit chilly or maybe they're deep in thought, trying to focus on what you're saying. Think about that coworker who always stands with her arms crossed. At first you thought she didn't like you, but then you realize she does that with everyone. It's just her habit. Don't jump to conclusions. Look for other clues. Are their shoulders tense? Is their face frowning? Those extra signals tell you if they feel closed off or relaxed. Remember, reading people is about empathy. Put yourself in their shoes and give them the benefit of the doubt. 3. The eyes don't lie. They say the eyes are the windows to the soul, and it's true. Where someone looks, how their pupils change. Even those tiny crinkles around the edges reveal their genuine emotions. Think about when you're conversing and the other person's gaze wanders around the room. Chances are they're bored, distracted, or maybe even trying to find an escape route. But focused eye contact means they're engaged and interested in your words. Ever notice how someone's eyes light up when talking about something they love? Or how does a slight frown appear when they're confused? We can't always control our facial expressions. Our eyes are the biggest giveaway. Remember when you tried to hide your surprise with a terrible birthday gift? But your eyes widened briefly, and your friend saw it. The eyes don't lie. They reveal our excitement and sadness, even if we're trying to hide it. So pay close attention.
They'll tell you everything you need. 4. Fidgeting, nerves, or just energy. Picture this. You're on a first date, and the person across from you can't stop tapping their foot, twirling their hair, or drumming their fingers on the table. Are they bored, rude, or maybe just overflowing with nervous energy? Fidgeting gets a bad rap, but it's a standard way to release pent-up anxiety or excess energy. Maybe your date is excited to be there, but also worried about saying the wrong thing. Or perhaps they're thinking about a big presentation at work tomorrow and can't entirely switch gears. We all fidget in different ways. Some people bite their nails, others crack their knuckles. Remember how you used to bounce your leg under your desk in school? Before judging someone's fidgets, put yourself in their shoes. Are they in a stressful situation? A little understanding goes a long way. Instead of being annoyed, try asking a gentle question like, Big day tomorrow? It opens a conversation and helps you determine if their fidgeting is superficial nerves or a sign they're not feeling the connection. 5. Respect the bubble. We all have a personal space bubble, that invisible zone around us where we feel comfortable. Some people's bubbles are more significant than others, and respecting those boundaries is essential. Do you know those people who get too close when talking? Maybe they step in so near you can smell their lunch or brush against you constantly. They're not trying to creep you out, but they probably have a different sense of personal space or a crush on you. Don't be afraid to adjust subtly if someone makes you uncomfortable by getting too close. Take a step back and turn slightly to the side. Most people pick up on those non-verbal cues. But for those who are oblivious, a gentle, excuse me for a second, while you create some distance, is acceptable. Remember, cultural differences play a role too. In some places, it's normal to stand closer during conversations. If you're unsure, observe others around you. Adapting to different social norms is part of understanding people and building solid connections. 6. The Walk of Confidence Imagine someone striding across the room, head held high, shoulders back. They exude confidence and purpose like they own the space around them. Now picture someone shuffling along, eyes downcast, slumped posture. Different vibe, right? The way we walk tells a story. A vigorous, purposeful walk often signals confidence and self-assurance. But a slower, less confident walk can mean a person is shy, unsure or lost. Don't confuse someone's natural quietness for weakness. Remember, introverts often have a quiet power from inner strength and thoughtful composure. Think back to a job interview you had. Did you try to power walk your way in to appear more confident? We all instinctively try to use our posture and movement to communicate how we want to be seen by others. The next time your people watching observe different walks, what impression do they leave on you? And don't forget to pay attention to your walk too. It broadcasts messages to the world around you. 7. Posture tells a story. Think of your posture as a billboard broadcasting your inner state, your confidence, mood, and even how you feel physically. 
Picture this. A tall person, shoulders relaxed, head held high. They radiate energy and self-assurance. They tell the world, I'm here and ready to take on whatever comes my way. But it sends a different message when someone slouches, shoulders hunched, eyes downcast. Maybe they feel insecure, sad, or exhausted from carrying the world's weight. Remember that friend who broke up with her boyfriend? For weeks afterward, her posture changed. She seemed to shrink physically as if she were trying to disappear. Our bodies betray our emotions, even when we don't mean them to. Posture matters. It affects how others perceive us and how we feel about ourselves. Standing a little taller can instantly boost your confidence. Try it, you might be surprised. And remember, be kind when reading someone else's posture. They might be having a tough day with nothing to do with you. 8. Every face has a story. Our faces are like living maps, revealing a range of emotions we sometimes don't even realize we're broadcasting. Every tiny movement tells a story, from a genuine smile to a flicker of annoyance. Think about that instant connection when someone's eyes crinkle into a genuine smile. You know they're happy to see you. But there's also that subtle eyebrow raise, a hint of skepticism or disbelief. Or how someone's jaw tightens when trying to control their anger. We've all tried to hide a bad mood with a pasted-on smile, haven't we? Our true feelings usually leak out in those micro-expressions. The brief flashes of emotion that cross our faces before we can mask them. Learning to read those subtle facial cues is like unlocking a superpower. Imagine knowing exactly how someone feels during a negotiation or whether your date is genuinely interested in your stories about your pet rock collection. Of course, always consider the context and the person's overall personality, but those tiny flickers of emotion will guide your understanding. 9. Time is of the essence. Have you ever waited impatiently for someone who was chronically late? It's frustrating, right? Because how someone treats your time tells you how they value you. People who are consistently on time show respect. They understand your time matters and that keeping you waiting is a big no-no. Punctuality signals organization and consideration in that they prioritize the meeting, date, or event. Of course, sometimes life happens. A traffic jam, a wardrobe malfunction, things get crazy. But someone who's always running behind schedule might have a different attitude. Maybe they struggle with time management or subconsciously don't think the commitment is that important. Think about that friend who's always at least 15 minutes late. You've started telling her earlier so she'll arrive on schedule. It's become a bit of a running joke, but there's some truth to it. Don't forget some folks are always super early too. That can signal eagerness, a desire to make a good impression, or even anxiety about being on time. How someone manages time reveals so much about how they perceive themselves and their obligations. 10. Listen to their tone. Words are essential, but they're only part of the story. How someone speaks, their tone, speed, and pitch reveals a hidden layer of emotion. 
Think about how a rushed, clipped voice feels different from a slow, gentle one. Someone babbling might be excited, anxious, or even trying to hide something. A slow, monotone delivery could mean boredom, disinterest, or exhaustion. Remember that argument you had with a friend? It wasn't just the words that hurt, but the sharp tone of their voice rising with anger. Our voices betray us, communicating frustration, sadness, and joy more effectively than just the words alone. Pay attention to those subtle inflections. A sarcastic drawl, a nervous tremor, and a sigh of relief spilling into their words give you clues about their true feelings. Listen closely, and you'll hear another conversation beneath the surface. 11. The Nodding Game You've seen it a million times. That constant nodding someone does while you're talking. What's that all about? Are they genuinely super interested, or is something else going on? Sometimes, nodding shows agreement and enthusiasm, and the other person actively listens. But excessive nodding can also signal anxiety, insecurity, or a desperate desire to please. Think about that coworker who nods vigorously at every single word their boss says. Are they a star student, or are they just worried about keeping their job? The key is looking for patterns in their nodding behavior. Do they nod more around authority figures, or when discussing topics they're unsure about? Nodding is also a way to regulate conversations and encourage the speaker to continue. We instinctively nod when someone tells a story, even if that story's about their cat's latest hairball adventure. It's a nonverbal way of saying, keep going, I'm with you. Pay attention to how and when someone nods. It reveals a lot about the invisible power dynamics and unspoken anxieties lurking beneath the surface of a conversation. 12. What their clothes say. The saying goes, clothes make the man or woman. And it's got more truth to it than you might think. What someone wears sends subtle messages about their personality, priorities, and how they want to be perceived. Think about someone who's always meticulously dressed in a crisp suit or perfectly tailored dress. They value detail and professionalism. Now, picture someone who rocks a relaxed bohemian style with flowy fabrics and unique accessories. They probably prioritize comfort and creative self-expression. Remember that job interview where you stressed over the perfect outfit? We all instinctively use clothing to convey who we are and what we value, whether it's blending in or standing out. Of course, it's important not to stereotype. Someone in ripped jeans and a band t-shirt might be a successful artist, not a slacker. And someone dressed to the nines could hide significant insecurities behind their polished appearance. Clothing is a form of personal expression, a visual representation of our inner selves. Notice the details. Are their clothes always immaculate or a little wrinkled? Do they favor bold colors or stick to neutrals? Think of their outfit as a clue, giving you a glimpse into their personality and approach to life. Bonus tip. Finally, here's one more trick to add to your toolkit. Watch for mirroring. That subtle way people copy each other's postures and gestures is a fascinating sign of connection. 
Understanding this little trick helps you build rapport and navigate relationships more easily. Pay attention to mirroring. Have you ever noticed how people in sync with each other unconsciously tend to mimic one another's body language? This is called mirroring, and it's a powerful sign of connection and rapport. When someone sits with the same posture as you, crosses their legs in the same direction, or gestures similarly, it subtly signals that they like you and feel comfortable. It's usually an unconscious behavior. A nonverbal saying, we're on the same wavelength. You can even use mirroring intentionally to build trust. Subtly echo someone's posture or gestures to put them at ease. Of course, don't overdo it to the point of seeming creepy. The key is subtlety. Remember, reading people is a skill that takes time and practice. The more observant you become, the better you'll understand the rich tapestry of human behavior. Don't be afraid to use these tricks. Now go out there and start connecting with the world around you on a whole new level. Did these tips help you? Tell me in the comments. And if you found this video valuable, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friends.